All right, party people, welcome. Today is going to be another four hours of Hogwarts. Um, really, the only thing that's the only things that we can do are either sky's the limit or Lodgok's loyalty. Oh no, wait, I'm I'm sorry, I'm a liar. I totally forgot. Let's um, let's go to the room of requirement really quickly, and then after this, we'll go do those couple of side quests, and then we'll just go do the story, right? We'll 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 make sure we hit on everything, right? Okay, so what do I have over here again? Just Wigan Welds. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna change up my potions in a little bit. Deke hasn't seen this many plants here before. Actually, how much uh how much moonstone do I have? Yeah, I don't really have any moonstone. That's the problem. Like I wanna obviously build T shapes. Yeah, okay, so I gotta I gotta save up moonstone. So for right now, I'm not gonna really do much. Um, we have focus potions cooking. Here you go, I wanna get Thunder Brew again. What's the max Thunder Brew you could carry? Okay, that's it. My tool wheel slots are full. Yeah, I have, I have the max on everything that we could carry. You can't increase it anymore. Okay. Uh, just keep keep cooking more thunder brew. I guess we'll have one one station for each kind of potion that I'll never use. Basically, that, that's how this is gonna work. All right, so I'll come over here. Well, we have Wigan Weld, and it'll just sit there forever, basically, because you, you find enough Wigan Weld out in the wild that you don't really need to like go all over the place to get more. You know. Okay. Shrivel fig. There you go. Oh, God! I got grabbed by the damn thing. Holy shit, that scared the shit out of me, man. Okay. We got 25 mallow sweet. Gee, we don't even need fertilizer. Once you get to a certain point, the fertilizer, you just don't need it. Okay. Well, I wonder if I could put anything over here. Like, even just, like, a small. But, eh, I don't know. Okay, whatever. I just wanted to hit up the room of requirement. Uh, just so I could get a couple potions. So, let's, uh... Well, let's go to the map. Sorry, I forget how to switch. We have to go out to the world map. We have to go down here, which is pretty far off. And I guess we just do these three missions, right? We just have three missions. I think there's another one somewhere around here. I don't know where Imelda's is. Is this it? Yeah, sky's the limit. So we really have like four missions. Let's, let's just do them. I'm sure they'll be really short. Okay. Where is it again? How did I lose it? I need to mark it. I'm losing my damn mind. That's what I'm losing. <laughs> did, did it mark it? Yes, okay. Speak with a woman in Mar Marunwem? Marunweem? Marunweem? Marunwem? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Pardon? Were you calling to me? No, I'm feeding I'm my chicken. I'm Marianne Moffat. Pleasure. At the moment, I'm having a great deal of trouble trying to find a particular Derrico. Uh, okay. I know what it is. Oh, yes, the magical bird. She's it dropping seeds as we do this. Peculiar things, aren't they? Did you know that muggles call them dodos? <laughs> Such a funny name. Dodos. I'm worried about a large albino Derrico known as Gwenaira. She's a local legend, so of course poachers are after her. If I had her, I'd treat her like a queen. And I could use her molted feathers as fashion accessories. Oh, uh, yeah. It seems you're more concerned with the feathers than the bird. But she'd be safer with you than with poachers. Indeed. They'd pluck her feathers and likely kill her when they were through. I can't seem to rescue I'll her. I'll love her. I'll just pluck her instead. Since I've been hanging about their den. All right. Yeah, why, why this one in particular? On Gwenaira and not rescuing all the Derricals. Gwenaira is special. She's more attractive to poachers. Dude, she won't stop. Look, it's shooting out of her wrist. What the hell? <laughs> what the fuck? The other seem to have managed evading poachers quite well on their own. Oh, but this one's just stupid. Can you tell me what the Derrickal den looks like? It's down by the shore on a sort of 
overhanging cliff. You'll recognize it by all of the Derricals lolling about. All right, I'll, I'll see what I can do. Oh, I'm keeping you. it, by the way. Oh, look, dude. Oh, I love it. Feathers. It's like she's got the Spider-Man shit. One last thing. She seems to spend her days in the hiding. I've only ever seen her at night. I do hope you're able to save her. All right. Be prepared to Birds of a feather flock together. The pursuit. I always like that phrase. It's actually a mission, I think, in I Devil May Cry. At night, apparently. Uh, is my boost going down at all? What the hell? Do I have, like, infinite boosts? I am boosting. Wait, where the fuck are the other ones? I missed one. Okay. There it is. I guess that was the start. Yeah, I was boosting. I don't know. It seems like at some point I just got infinite boost. Yeah, I don't know why. For some reason when I'm over land, it seems like I get infinite boost. Because I'm clicking and I'm not boosting. That's... Oh, okay. So if you're low to the ground, you get boost? I, I, don't, I don't get it. All right, whatever. This must be the Diracle den that Miss Moffat told me about. Now, where is Gwenaira? Okay. Levioso, confringo. Levioso, arrest her momentum. All right, well, I didn't kill her somehow. I almost made uh, some extra crispy chicken legs, you know? Got her. Now I need to let Miss Moffat arrest her momentum. This is so silly. I cannot believe they put Luigi's Mansion in this. There you go. I'll save you too, don't worry. Professor Howen will never believe this. Alright, there you go. I leveled up. I leveled up basically doing nothing. <laughs> Very nice. You love to see it. I mean, at this point, there's not really a lot to spend my talents on. Uh, I mean, we could upgrade Glacius. Um, that's like okay, right? There's nothing bad about that per se, but it's not like to die for. Uh, we could do perfect Protego. Blocking a spell with it sends back two projectiles. Or for dark arts, we could do... I'm not going to do any of the curses. We could do Arresto Momentum and Flipendo. I mean, it really doesn't matter, as you can see. <clears throat> we have... It's basically, do I want to buff one of my side moves and get a, more ways to spread curse, or do I want to upgrade Protego? And I think, honestly, I should upgrade Protego with these two abilities. So blocking a spell with it will send back two projectiles, which is pretty good. Okay. All right, very nice. What? Am I getting a call? Scam likely, of course. Do you think I get real phone calls? Hell no, dude. <laughs> Just some asshole and fucking bot. And you pick up and it's it's nothing. It's just literally a vibe check. Oh hello! Miss Moffat, I call Gwenaira. That's incredible! Was it terribly difficult? Yeah, it was easy. Uh, not too bad, if you know what you're doing. Don't be so humble about it. Well, may I have her now? Honestly, I kind of want to keep her. <laughs> look, look how serious my character became. He's like, oh, shit, how do I tell her? No, I'm keeping Actually, her. Actually, I think she'll be safer with me. But it was my idea to rescue her. I'm the one who fell Well, life sucks, doesn't it? Plumage. Oh, the cheek. Now, <laughs> what shall I do? All you want to do is pluck her yourself. You're not any better. I also just want to pluck her, too. Like so. <laughs> Big mad. Big fucking mad. <laughs> Stay mad, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> That's my chicken. All right, let's move on. <laughs> 
rescuing Rococo. Listen, I've been making good choices the whole game. You can't get mad at me now. I'm keeping her. Nope. That's a unique. Sorry, mine. If you wanted it so badly, you should have done it yourself, damn it. Oh, that naughty boy runs after anything shiny and new, he does. I'll just keep her in the bag Hello, forever. Madam. Is everything all right? I'm simply beside myself since Rococo ran away. He's my pet Niffler. Oh god, I'm gonna steal this too. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that your pet. I become the animal thief. I appreciate your words. I'm the opposite of all those people that abandon their pets like they have dropped their turtles in ponds. I'm the dude that takes them all. He and I stumbled upon Henrietta's hideaway. They say that Henrietta was a paranoid recluse, filled her castle with all manner of traps to keep thieves from pinching her valuables. As we drew near, the morning sun reflected off something in a window, and before I knew it, Rococo was off. I've been worried sick. But I'm not about to meddle with Merlin knows what's inside that house, or the Ashwinders that are lurking about. All right. Tell me more about Henrietta. We've already been to her place. Why did Henrietta feel the need to protect her house like she did? Henrietta was a baroness who married well, more than a few times. Her immense wealth drove her to a life of suspicion and isolation. The more wealth she amassed, the more paranoid she became of losing it. Hence the terrifying traps throughout the hideaway. Not even her family has been willing to deal with them. To oh, I'll take fortune. care of them. Yeah, let's do it. Why don't you just get Rococo back yourself? Henrietta's hideaway is treacherous enough, but add Ashwinders into the picture and, well, I love Rococo. So you clearly don't love your pet that much, basically. That's what you're trying to tell me. I'll keep an eye out for Rococo. Oh, that's terribly kind. But stay away from the hideaway. Far too dangerous. If someone does find him in the hideaway, they shall be well rewarded. Bro, come on. You, you just... You can't say that so right after now. telling me to stay away. Like, what do you think is going to happen? Of course I'm going to go. Like, what are you... Are these people dumb? Oh, you, you stay away. Anyone who does it will get a million dollars. Like, no shit I'm going to go. What is wrong with you? People that are stupid, man. It does sound intriguing. <laughs> Perhaps I should investigate. For yes. Rococo's sake. Oh, yeah. For Rococo's sake, of course. All right. Speaking of which, I got I apparently got a new piece of outfit. A new piece of outfit. Yes. Today, I'm bringing my, my finest. Look at that. Look at this. Damn. This is nice. All right. Hold up. Let's uh, let's mix it up a little bit. We got anything white? Ah, uh, see, I remember I was wearing that earlier. Yo, we could we could go with a full white get up. We could put the hood up. Oh shit, yo! Look at it. This is awesome. We're we're yo. Oh my god. We're going back. We're going back to the golden age, boys. <laughs> we need a white scarf. Oh, do I have a white scarf? Oh shit, they got this in teal. Yo, could they could they make one of these in real life? I'd actually wear this. I don't usually wear scarves, but I would wear this. This is a nice scarf. I actually have um a sweatshirt. Is it a sweatshirt? It looks like this. I bought two of them. One I gave away. Um, but I bought one of them because I really like the like the cosmic pattern on it. Maybe someday I'll take a picture of it. A silver scarf. Hmm. Handcrafted necklace. Yeah, it looks cool. I don't know. What do you think? The silver, silver scarf. I'll be the international man of mystery. You know. The ow! Oh shit! Yeah, this is nice. I like this. All right, we gotta change up the gloves. The ornate two-tone. Ah, eh, it's not as white as I was hoping. Ivory. Sage embellish. Embellished. Okay. Uh, I mean, that's really kind of it. There aren't a lot of white gloves. Yeah, yo, this is looking pretty fly. What was the other one I, I said I wasn't going to wear? Whoops. The thief's... Oh, yeah, it's just a coat. See, with this, I get to have the hood up, so I'll actually wear that mask. I don't think there's a better one. I like how you could use the touchpad. I don't know why. Anyway. All right. Yeah, that's about it. There you go. And I have the white, uh, the, the white wand. Sadly, I don't have, like, a good... I don't like this. You know what I mean? This is like a... It's a handle design. It's not actually, like, a handle. You know what I mean? Like, I like that we had, like, a an encompassing, like, 
handle all around it. So, all right, here you go. This is this is enlightened who's man's. I love it. I love this so much. <laughs> this game, the role playing potential of this game is so high, man. And you know me, I, I don't usually put a lot of time into like, oh wow, you can mount in the air. Okay, that's interesting. I don't usually put a lot of time into writing OC and stuff like that. But uh, this is this is pretty fun. I like that you could just do random crazy shit with this game. So apparently you could dive to gain back boost. Or is it just, I think it's just flying low to the ground gives you back boost. I don't know why that is. It seems to be a mechanic. Maybe they explained it before, but I don't know. It's funny how at the start it was like, oh, there's no Quidditch in the game. Ah, oh. and like, yeah, it's a little bit, a little bit of a letdown. But I mean, like, there's so much other stuff. I just think my biggest complaint, more than no Quidditch. This must be the castle oh, where shit. Ms. Coffee's nephew ran away. Well, we already know the entrance is down here. Inside. Glad I'm here. Find us. I'd better find a way around them, or perhaps uh, through them. Can I just enter? Knew you were still hanging about. Oh shit, he knows I'm here. What the fuck? Think you're clever. You should go about stealing goblins' helms. Oh my god, you're still mad about that? Like damn, bro. What the fuck? That's not all what I wanted. You're dead. Yes, it is, clearly. Try when I see one. <laughs> clearly that is Hogwarts best. What are you talking about? Oh man, people in this game world. It's always so weird the taunts that like enemies and games do, man. Anything with Rococo. It's like, bro, what? You're you're getting your ass handed to you. Alright, well we have to kill them again. That Niffler's certainly leaving quite a trail. Come here! I pulled the wrong guy. I wonder what Expulso does, since they get to use it and you don't. I wonder what it... Ah, uh, he's, he's too heavy. Stupefy. You know, I know we were talking about this earlier when I was talking about, like, books I used to read when I was a kid. But I kind of wonder, like, how many Encyclopedia Brown books they made. You know what I mean? Like, I, I, I really kind of would like to read some of them again. I know it's been, like, legitimately almost 20 years, you know, but I kind of want to read, like, some of those classics, you know? It's been a long time. I thought about that, like, I think a couple, like, a, a few days ago. I was like, you know, I haven't, I was trying to think, like, was his name the Hardy Boys or something? I was trying to, like, remember what his name was. Yeah, it was the hard book. Or it was Encyclopedia Brown. I was like, dude, he had the sidekick, I think, that he got in one book. Maybe someday I'll, like, actually look up all the books that they had. I'd like to try to get all the different, uh, Animorph books first, though, to be honest with you. Oh, my God. <laughs> Ow. You planned to creep up on the well, I know what you did to our To who? Arrest them, What? I came and target her. Descend them. Ah, uh, she got caught. Damn. Put me down right now. Clearly you failed the QTE. Okay, anyway. <sighs> no one to share in my victory. Yeah, it's unfortunate. I can't bring like a party of people. But if you bring like a party of people, it'll just be too easy. <laughs> Revelio. It, it would really just be too easy to like solve everything, you know? Okay. Just a bunch of Wigan Weld. 
apparently some body. Oh, there's a dude down there. Okay, maybe it's an fairy. These coins must have come from Miss Coffee's Niffler. There you go. See, we already did all this, so we, we could just run right through, basically. I wonder what Reducto does as well. <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, no. Ah, fire. Where's that goblin helm? Dude, the goblin helm's gone, Chief. Wait, there's a random in Ferris in here? What? How does that work? Ah! He died with it. Holy shit. That's one way to go out. Ooh. All right, ready? Dude, I'm so glad Flipendo's in this game. I miss it. That took me back, man. <laughs> and it's a really short cooldown. All right, some hits I can just take. It doesn't really matter that much in the grand scheme. See, it fucking... It's having to toggle between all these different, like, cast bars. That's kind of ridiculous. Yeah, maybe I'll upgrade the Potato after this again. I'll get the, uh, the one that bursts into shards. Wait, he's dead? What? Oh, he's hard oh. Ah, I should have just taken it. Wow. Ah, oh, I got stuck. <laughs> I wonder if you could just flip Hendo someone endlessly. Oh, shit. See, it's almost ready, like, right away. Right, very good. You don't actually want to fight them, right? What? Alright, that's cool, though. That's cool that they more or less worked it out, even if it was kind of a, a little side silly thing. That's cool. <laughs> now he's got him in his life all over again. <laughs> yeah, it, it would just be a little bit better if you didn't have to, like, D-pad micromanage a little bit, you know? I, I just think that would be a, a little bit, not, like, just nicer. I wonder if there's, like, an accessibility option, maybe, to, like, slow time to give you time to cast spells. Because that would actually be ideal, in my opinion. Ugh. When I get my hands on that Niffler... There he is, Rakuku. Levioso, arrest the momentum. All right, got it. I'll look after you. Best get back to Miss Coffee. All right, I'm keeping it. Can I teleport out of here? Or do I have to run out? I can't remember. Was there a fast way out of here? I can't remember. Probably not. Is this still a trigger? Accio. Ingonium 
Yep, there you go. Like how her vast fortune's back there and you can't actually take it. You could seriously be a millionaire in this universe. Doing nothing. Just chilling all day, eating cool stuff, casting spells, being the Chad musician, uh, musician, musician, magician that only whose mans could be, you know? That's right, whose mans is canon. Everyone else's character is just fanfic. It's OC. Oh. Alright, let's just teleport. I'm not going to go get those balloons. That's too much work. Although we are by the Amelda mission, so we could just do that real quick. Just get that done and out the way while we're down here, so we don't have to come back. The course looks rather deserted. I hope everything's all right. Ravenclaw, over here! Hello again, Amelda. This course is a bit far from the castle, isn't it? Obviously. Evidently too far for most of our classmates. I mean, I don't blame them. Pathetic. The world is dangerous right now. begging me to keep these trials alive. Not like, there's scared. poachers, ashwinders, goblins, hellbent on murdering wizards. I suppose I appreciate like, how is she out here That's perfectly you. fine? Thank you. Hello? I know I can be impatient, but I get frustrated by those... I know I can be just awful to people, but who cares? And in my experience, that's everyone. Yeah, that, that sounds like a you anyway, problem. don't let it go to your <laughs> head. Right then, enough chatter. I'm confident I've posted a time you won't be able to beat. She gonna turn into a Sundare or something? A uh, Baka? I'm ready. You I'm wouldn't ready dare to try to beat my time, would you, Baka? Oh god. Does it auto boost you? Yes, it does. Uh oh. Yeah, see, her broom is naturally a little bit better. You just have to hit the bubbles. Oh, shit! I almost hit that. <laughs> and then probably I'll be Weeks will have the last one, uh, the last upgrade for the final arc of the game, basically. Okay, let's leave that so I know what to hit later. Uh, now that's more like it. Free flying, if I do say so myself. I ain't gotta cut it a little low. You know, the music really does give the feeling like you are flying around on a broom in a Hogwarts in a Harry Potter movie. It's really nice. It's, it's very fitting, you know. I would like to see a Star Wars game just like this. Excellent. It doesn't even have to be set during the Skywalker trilogy, you know? I think actually it would be better probably if they got away from that entirely. Like, almost make no references to it. Lord knows Disney and their desire to fuck up everything good. They couldn't contain themselves. It's either that or sucking off to China, but, you know, you know how fucking American businesses are. Is that the next one? Okay, it's a right. I thought maybe we were going to do like a loop-de-loop -loop around the island. Excellent. Yes, magnificent. Oh, shit. Well, I had no choice. God damn it. I'm gonna have the worst time ever trying to find those balloons later. Ooh, yeah, it wasn't worth it. All right, we're way ahead. We 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 ditched the fucking mannequin. <laughs> All right, I gotta try to find that. Yeah. All right, anyway, you suck, and I'm that better. quite something. Yeah, you're awful. Impressive work today, but don't get too comfortable. I'll be on your heels in no time. Oh, so I passed My you. Not going to huh. Me, tell them. They're almost as competitive as I am. Almost. Yeah, it's been fun. I'm out of here. It's been fun competing against your records, Amelda. It's been fun beating them. It has been fun. Glad you're here. See, now that she has competition, she loves me. 
are a Ravenclaw. Hey, you're pretty bad for a Slytherin. Your broom work uh, your, needs uh, some improvement. <laughs> flight the good flight. There you go. Easy. I wonder what all the all the trophies are for this game. Now, this was his best upgrade yet. All right, so we'll return to Albie Weeks in a minute. Look how far away it is. So the whole map is like maybe, what, six kilometers, roughly, in like a straight line almost? Something like that? Yeah, because this is way the fuck back up here, so we're, we're not going to do that just yet. Uh, let's go turn in this quest. I think it was over here. She's going to tell her I couldn't find her damn Niffler. They killed it. What is she going to do? There's no detect lie spell. My poor Rococo. Uh. Whatever. Miss Coffee, I found your Niffler. Oh, goodness, really? Oh, thank you. You're very brave. I was at my wit's end. How's my sweet Rococo? May I have him back? <laughs> For fee. Oh my god, do I be the ultra dick and keep him? Or do I just give it back? I don't know. Oh, fuck me, man. Is this gonna, like, mess up anything? Like, am I gonna regret, like, keeping this animal? You know, is, is there is there some, like, super trophy for this or something? I, I'm, I'm worried. Yeah, fuck it. Actually, he's taking a liking to Yeah, me. actually, I, I, we put in the work for it. It's, he's mine. He's mine. <laughs> Oh, I should have faced my fears and Evil! Evil! Yeah, you should have. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, oh my god. You can be so evil in this game. Wow! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> oh my god. And, and and before anyone says, oh, you you evil to you 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 to me. I've been doing good choices in games for over a decade, alright? You are you if you don't know, then that's cause just cause you didn't fucking look. That's your own problem. That's not my fault. It's time for me to cut loose a little bit. You didn't even try. I have to do all the work. No, 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 no. That's not how it's going to work, buddy, all right? Get out there, your damn self, and save your own fucking pet. At least try. Fuck that. I'm a collector of extrange, uh, ex extrange, of exotic and strange beasts. And where to find them. And unlike Warner Brothers, I'm not going to fire Johnny Depp. I'm going to keep him on board. That's right, I said it. Okay. Okay. You can just pick it up on broom, right? Yeah. They want you to do all this weird platforming. I mean, again, it, it could be cool, but Rebellion. why do all that when I could just, like, fly around? What the hell's all this? What the fuck? And this is why Assassin's Creed does not let you climb every surface. It makes it trivial. <laughs> Alohomora. May you never have a moment's peace with him. <laughs> Imagine people actually getting upset that you keep a virtual animal in a video game. You you do the evil choice. Some people get really bent out of shape over it. Like, if you're just doing it to fuck around, like, who cares? That's what video games are for. To have stupid fun. Just enjoy yourself. Like that, uh, what is this, St. Pepsi? Just enjoy yourself. Just enjoy yourself. It's such a weird song. I, I, I like that kind of music, though. It's it's relaxing. It's nice. All right, I'm never going to figure out where that, uh, that balloon was. But yeah, you know, I, I've been doing good choices in games, right? You know, it's funny because I had a discussion with a friend over a decade ago when I was like, oh, you you do renegade choices in games? And, and we were talking about Mass Effect specifically. And I was like, oh, you do renegade choices? I was like, oh, but I mean, don't you think it's kind of fucked? You're like, you're going to ruin your perfect Paragon run. And he was like, no, 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 because I'm doing realistic choices, you know? And I mean, Mass Effect 2 has a lot more... All the interrupts are kind of fine. Like, you could do them and not mess up a... An otherwise pr Paragon run, 
which is actually why I started to do pretty much every interrupt, because I'm like, well, why wouldn't I, right? Like, it's funny. All the all the Renegade interrupts in Mass Effect are funny as shit. There's rarely any Paragon interrupts that are actually, like, really good. Usually it's like you save somebody, which is fine, but, you know, there's, there's nothing like doing something hilarious and killing somebody in Mass Effect and having a good chuckle about it, you know what I mean? Like, like that's funny. Oh, it wasn't this? Pop balloons, 5 of 15? Oh, my lord. Dude, that has to be the last one, for sure. There, there's no way there's a, that many more balloons left. 10 sets? There's 50 more balloons. That's insane. Was it down here? Where the fuck was it? This is what I mean. I'm never going to find it. I should have opened the map right then and there, honestly. They're fighting some uh, pretty ugly nasties. A castle. Okay. You saw it auto popped as soon as I came over here. <laughs> yeah, no, nothing wrong with a little bit of dicking around. You know, you you always want to walk around with a stick up your ass. Like, at some point, like, you gotta have a little bit of fun on a video game, you know? That, that's where I'm at now. I like I like doing some funny stuff. I didn't think they'd let you get that last word in. <laughs> oh my god, no! No! Yeah, that's great. May you never have a moment's peace with my beloved Nifla. Alright, I can't figure it out. I don't know where it is. Let's, let's just carry on. Could have sworn I hit two balloons. Uh, who knows? Whoops. All right, here we go. Let's do this, and then after this, that's it. The only other mission left would be, uh... Actually, I don't even know. Open the locked chest under the old manor in Manor Glen. Oh, great. Uh, you guys got a problem. Rebellion. <laughs> wonder how you get down there. Wait, what was that? So I wonder... Oh, oh, I know where we are. We're, we're, we're right back where we were before. Yeah, what the fuck? Oh, shit. Well, I don't think I'll be getting away from them. Like how now we're having a... A Night of the Living Dead episode. There we go. Not that that does really anything, but I guess it's helpful somewhat. You know, it's kind of like uh, the old Goosebumps also. That was something I also read when I was younger. Of course, now they're changing them, apparently, so that's good. I, I miss the good old days. I, I really do miss that, like, 2000s era. You just had, like, crazy shit. Like, you know, like, there was something really fun about reading Goosebumps and actually kind of being, like, scared. You know, when you're, like, six... You're just like, wow, that's really fucked up. The choose your own adventures, too. Like, I just don't think we have that kind of stuff, you know? Well, we do, right? We have it in video games. But that, like, kind of experience of flipping through a book, you don't know what you're going to get. Maybe it's just different when you're younger, right? But I really like that. Like, I thought it was unique to have your own kind of choices, you know, impact what, what happens next in the story. You get a different ending based on it. That was kind of cool, you know? That was, that was what really, I think, you know, shaped up even in, like, subconsciously in my head, like, hey, imagine if we had a game, you know, where your choices matter. Like, obviously, like, now every game has it, right? But on a level, I guess that's why I like Deus Ex and Mass Effect and stuff like that, because the things you decide on do impact the game on a moment-by-moment -moment basis, you know? That's pretty cool. 
someone made a game and uh you know accounted for all that that's that's pretty damn awesome you know so i can respect the hustle even if i dislike what they do with a lot of the games later you know it's so like for instance i totally dislike what they did with say like mass effect 3 right i think everyone everyone knows mass effect 3 is kind of a shitty ending right but you know i can still respect it like that they exactly. got that far in the first place right like i might not like two and a lot of things about two this is kind of weird it, like shrinks into the wall i might not like a lot of things about two oh, and i might I'm wait what who the fuck is this what yeah. oh she's dead <laughs> the lord of the manor all right, someone probably told me something about this quest, and I don't even remember. What was that? Her and her husband. Alohomora. Well, simp together in hell. Someone just texted me as soon as I said that. Holy shit! Who is it? I'm actually scared now. <laughs> oh god! Who is it? Nothing. Okay. Oh great. <laughs> Where the fuck is this? Let me let me take a screenshot real quick with snipping tool just so I don't have to keep going back into it. Okay, I wish I could blow it up in the snipping tool, but that's fine. Alright, there we go. Might be interesting to see where this leads. Mr. Wuthering, I can hear the inferi that Donna summoned drawing closer. It's been honor to work for Gringotts as a curse breaker. Should notice that Donna could no longer be trusted. She was my partner after all. I hope you'll forgive me for falling short in that regard. Please tell my family I died fighting. Fotin. Oh, okay. It really blows my mind that they like move at light speed. Is that written into the book somewhere? Ow. Is that is that somewhere in there? Really, Expelliarmus' main use is that you're able to, um, curse them. It's a really fast-acting ability. It's just a free curse. That's about it. Bye. Oh, no! What? Okay, anyway. Revelio. Come on, collect the rewards. Alright, we'll grab it in a second. There's no rush. This is gonna be a lot of Inferis. Incendio. Inferius. Is. No, it's just Inferi. It's a Latin Inferius. word. Or it's, it's conjugated like a Latin Incendio. word. You don't conjugate a Latin noun. I'm sorry. What, what was the what was the term for it? Shit. It's been years since I took Latin. Are you, you done? Holy shit. Here. What? It act I guess it when they freeze they can't get up. They they don't have the muscle mass. They can't dispel it, so they just have to stay there for good. Okay. Hello, <laughs> Oh my god. It's the little things in life, you know? I'm sorry, is this the way out? I don't want a way out, I want a way in! Was that really it? Wait, was this actually just the quest is to get this? Huh, okay. Lodgok is dead, by the way. I've taken too long. Uh, there's another ancient magic spot over here. And then in a second, I'll, I'll look at the map. Actually, where is it? 
All right, it's at the top of the river. Okay, hold on. So it looks like the river at some point like goes upward. I think it's just this. Yeah, I think it's, it, it, it. Yeah, it's just it's over here. It's it's this the tomb of treachery. Okay, so we we know where it is. I I know it because of you know the if you looked at it. The, there's like a swamp on the other end as well. Yeah, we, we we know where it is, and we we already got the warp point to it. So it's nothing too crazy. We've already seen it. This is nice. This all white outfit. This is better than what I had on before. <laughs> I'd like to thank the the Dirigia Claw lady. Thank you for the pet, and thank you for the loot. Much appreciated, idiot. Oh my god, how could you part her from her fur baby? Yes, that's why. There you go. Look at that. Where the fuck is it? Well, that's a Merlin trial, for sure. Where's the, uh... It's over here. Oh, my God. And this is why the broom is just way helpful. Because otherwise you have to do weird platforming. So, the way they could have made it harder is just say you can't use the broom while getting it, right? If you use the broom, it resets or something. Obviously, they didn't want to do that. So, okay. Let's go to this, um... Let's go get this treasure. And then, uh... Where, where is it? Is there another one? There has to be more, obviously, right? Like, we, we definitely have to get more. I just don't know where it'll be. I guess you have to fly near to land to be able to uncover it. So maybe I can fly south just, like, really quickly. Just uncover this area over here. It looks like a camp. Maybe some other stuff. Yep, pretty much. Butterfly treasure. Alright, how about now? Yeah, it's just a lot of other stuff. Okay, let's just let's just focus on it. If we find the like the last upgrade for ancient magic, then that would be cool. If not, then I mean it is what it is. It's not a big deal. It looks like you kind of have to go near it anyway to be able to find it. So. Uh, okay, thank you. Tomb of Treachery. So at some point we'll enter it, and then there's going to be a puzzle. Intrepid Explorer. Discover all Cairn dungeons. Is it Cairn, or is that one of those words that's spelled one way and pronounced a completely separate way? In other words, this is the last dungeon in the game, basically. All the, all the major ones, at least. You know, like the tombs and stuff. All the little small side dungeons? Not really. There, there's going to be way more of those. We're not going to even do all of them. Gringotts Bank, Titana, and, and Poteen. Our clients have indicated that one of their ancestors may have been entombed with part of the family fortune. They're concerned the two may be cursed. Please go to the location on the map, break whatever curses you may find, retrieve any valuables on behalf of the family. You may write me personally if you need anything. Good luck. Grilco Wuthering. Head curse breaker at Gringotts Bank. Don't worry, I'm an expert curse breaker. I specialize in lock picking it. You know, you gotta get a click out of one and a snap out of two. I, I love that man's videos and I haven't watched them in so long. I had a whole era of watching weird YouTube videos back in like 2020 and, 20, and 2021. I was watching all kinds of crazy weird shit. Suits of armor, very nice. They could elbow each other all day. Considering the bones, I'll assume this is a tomb. Mr. Wuthering, if I do not make it, I urge you to look through all of mine and Tana's curse-breaking assignments. If Tana's betrayal today is, a, is any indication, I suspect she may have been keeping a portion of all the treasure we found, only reporting a fraction of it to Gringotts. Oh boy, where are the spiders? <laughs> Jesus. 
Uh, like right there? I guess not, okay. <laughs> yeah, no, like I said last time, the second game being about Dementors and stand battles would be fucking cool, man. I am unapologetically about to say they should just steal it from like JoJo or something. No regrets on that statement at all. Why is this door locked? Good for you. Pretty. The first piece of the puzzle. Lumos. Yes, Lumos. You could actually just turn it off One like down. so. Two to go. You know what's sad? A lot of people I know probably would like have real issue of me playing this game. But honestly, like 90% of them I don't like anymore, so fuck them. I don't know why. That's just one of those random thoughts I have. It's like people I know that would have been totally down and cool to play a game like this like five years ago now probably are just not going to enjoy it or just not like anyone who enjoys it just because of political reasons. I think it's funny. I think it's funny that a lot of the people that are like super overly sensitive politically and everything a few years ago had way worse and way darker humor than I ever had. It's actually kind of funny. Well, that's because they're fake as fuck. <laughs> At least some people have been on the same bandwagon the whole time. Some of y'all is fake as fuck, dude. And yes, I do actually have specific people in mind I am I am thinking of, but I'm not going to go any deeper than that. Anything to service your, uh, your ideology, right? It's your whole identity, after all. Because when you have nothing of substance to have to base your personality off of, you use uh, politics to do so. Very nice. In theory, what are they protecting? I don't know. It's a tomb. You said so yourself. What are you, why are you shocked? All right, bye. He didn't even hit me. You saw that? That's nice. I like that. The amnesty on uh, being hit is really high in this game. Uh, yeah, perfect. Oh, my God. I'm surprised it didn't light him on fire, though. That would have been really good. Boom. You missed. Very nice. So you can actually move a certain way and not get hit at all. Oh my god. You have to point blank it. Alright, there you have it. Let's hope you stay there this time. Uh, wait, hold on. Okay, so we have markings. You know what it is? It's, I think they're markings for all the torches, I guess. All right, we need to do the back right, or the back left, the back right. Which way is it supposed to face? Uh, huh. It's supposed to be like a circle or something on the ground somewhere. It's not stepping on him, right? No. I'm not really sure which way we're supposed to face it. I think this way, right? So we need to light. There's no torch back here. Is this an actual, like, torch we can hit? No, that's an explosive. Well, that means that there's only so many ways that this can point, right? Then wouldn't it need to be these back two and then this one? Is there any merit to jumping up here? No. Okay. How do you put it out again, Glacius? 
I think. Can you put it out? Yes, okay. It takes a second to put it out. So if you look on the map, I guess I could pull it up really quickly just to show you what I'm looking at, right? Um, not this one. Uh, Gringotts Live Assignment, the third node. Third node level line by a Gringotts Curse Breaker. Soon after she was dis uh, discovering she was betrayed by her partner, it was meant to explain the betrayal and what would otherwise be seen as a mysterious death. Oh, you know why? It's it's considered a mission item, that's why. Yeah, so this is what I'm looking at. Obviously, we're already in here, right? You're supposed to walk past the waterfall, which we did. Um, I'm not really sure what this is supposed to allude to. Oh, we use Flipendo. I thought that was like a rock on the ground or something. Okay, that makes way more sense. I was like, what the hell is this marking supposed to be? It's Flipendo. You could apparently target the stones. Flipendo. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> they don't glow white, so that's why it was kind of weird. Okay. Got to have got something off treasure it. Seeker's you attire. Very nice. We're gonna have the whole Treasure Seeker's outfit soon. It'll be pretty cool. It's probably like a late game area thing. You know, you could just come in here, grab it. Oh, I got the, the, the jacket, the, you know, the shirt and tie or whatever, the pants. All right, pretty nice. Okay, very nice. You know, I'm liking some of the quests in this coastal area. This is pretty good. All right, well, now we definitely have, like, nothing else. Oh, no, hold on. I lied. We could go back to Hogsmeade real quick. We could turn in this quest for, um, dude, and we could sell a couple items, and then we're actually out of things to do. So it was about an hour just to do all that, which is fine. Source indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Is this my thing? Yeah, it's right here. It is wonderful to see you back. I like how you can come at night and the guy just never shows up. We never oh, we never show up on the day of the week when he's causing all the trouble, basically. <laughs> That's pretty funny, actually. All, all that stuff, that whole long side quest, and he never shows up. <laughs> In fact, the, the, the box isn't even back there anymore. We were like, yeah, yeah, sign here, and then we threw the box out. We were like, yeah, get the fuck out. <laughs> Thank you for letting me out. Goodbye. Right. What was it? The owl. There you go. Anything better on gloves? Nope. Dude, Penny is like the scariest looking character in the game. I'm I'm sorry. I I know someone probably thinks she looks really cute and sweet. She just looks really fucking freaky. Oh, I, like, like seriously, I, I don't know, man. Some, some about the house elves and Harry Potter. They, they just look off to me. They just look fucking weird. It's just creepy. It's just, ugh. But I am biased. I did have a nightmare about it one time when I was like eight. I, t I think I've talked about that. How like, uh, what was it? I spy Spooky Mansion gave me like nightmares for a straight week. Hello again, Mr. God Weech. damn! I forgot all about that for South years, Coast. man. Fantastic. Your broom performed well, then? The best upgrade yet. It flew beautifully, incredibly nimble. But with the speeds it now reaches, I can feel the wind catching beneath the seat a bit, preventing it from reaching its full potential. Of course. Should have anticipated that. Exactly the kind of report I've come to expect from you. At last, I think I know what needs to be done for my final upgrade. Okay, what will you do? What will you do after the final upgrade is complete? Oh, no, I sell stuff. Spent, which is the most sought after shop in Ogsmead. And I wouldn't mind getting back on a broom myself. Just for the thrill of it. Couldn't be more pleased we made headway with the upgrades. Proved the naysayers wrong. Made all the hard work worth it. All right, see ya. To see you. See you next arc. I'll be sure to send you an hour when I'm finished. Thank you again for your help. Couldn't have done this without you. 
All right, so at some point he'll just randomly uh. Mr. Weeks and I do make a good team. Do we really? He just sits around and you just go out and do everything. That that's teamwork to you. All right, sure, dude. Anyway, we have a, a story mission to do, right? Because there's not really anything else to do unless we want to. Eh, I guess we go back to the room of requirement. I mean, but what's the point? Like, we'll just we're gonna do a mission anyway. We're gonna get tons of loot. Then we could go to the room of requirement. So fuck it. Okay, let me remove this. And then let's fast travel here. Okay. Uh, where's the entrance? What the hell? No, don't see me. Oh, shit! You scared the fuck out of me, man. <laughs> Lord Gok? Looks in there. No sign of Lord Gok out here. He must be inside already. Uh, I don't think this guy can come after me over here. Yeah, he gave up. Alright. A coastal mine. Look at the size of this mine. Something seems wrong. Everything's wrong, man. Yeah, let's just fight him. We don't, we no, no more sneaking. We might as well just fight. The game doesn't tell me I have to sneak, so let's just do it. Oh, I was supposed to catch and throw it. Oh, that's such an easy one. I didn't do it. Damn. Oh, well. Whatever. This cart ought to get me deeper into the mine. Uh, we really just gonna start hopping on random carts? Are you serious? Just like Gringotts. But I'm in the driver's seat this time. Oh my god. <laughs> you know, good thing these things are easy to operate. How deep will this take? Red Rob's gonna be pleased with our progress. Who was on that car? I have no idea. That was a pretty big goblin. That has to be the end up ahead. I wonder where these pipes go. Do I have to necessarily go back for that? Alright, because it seems like it goes across. Yeah, okay, we're good. All right, let's go on. First things first, let me get my combat challenges, which we've almost done every combat challenge in the game. Protego Shielding 3. Okay. Avenging Owl Mask could be at least better than what I usually get. Uh, we just got to defeat like 20 trolls, which is just time consuming. Defeat 30 mongrels. And then complete a bunch of dueling feats. Probably to complete like 100 for the very last one, maybe. It's like gonna be 100 or 50 or something. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to complete any more. The Avenging Raven Mask could be good, but I don't even know where to farm infamous foes. So, where's my uh, phone? Okay, I have like 30 minutes. So, let's 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 go ahead and do this story then. Let's not dick around too much, because I, I, I don't have a ton of time. God damn, the pull range on Accio is really fucking good. Oh my god. Done. What? I, I was already pressing triangle. Holy shit. Okay, well that time I stunned him. Alright, so sometimes you're able to get out 
that extra hit, you know, that extra, like, couple of hits, even with the attack incoming. It really just depends on what kind of attack they're doing, you know? Oh, he's dead. Okay. All right. Anyway. That extra healing from Curse is not terrible either. Oh, he's dead. Okay. I'm truly awed by what we've accomplished. There you go. Wow. Holy shit. It didn't take that long at all. Which is when you can. Hello, Amora. Very good that I have a low Amora level 3. That was definitely the right call to go, like, do extra stuff to get it. I like how you can see the effects are different in here, because, like, look how bright the lights are compared to what they were just a little bit ago. So, yeah, like, some areas just have, like, a different filter on, basically. Okay. Revelio. Revelia. I mean, it's better than detective vision. That's what I mean. Like, I don't have a problem with Revelio. I feel like what they could have done, though, is they could have maybe made Revelio a negative edge. You see, you got the LSD filter on right now. But yeah, they could have made Revelio a negative edge, and then if you hold it, it, it auto does Lumos. You know, I think that would have been a. a again, I, I know I'm, I'm, I'm just like I, you know, if I didn't like the game, I wouldn't speculate as to ways to improve it on this level. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Hopefully you understand that. Like, I, the only reason I say this is because I like this game so much that the little thing like that kind of bothers me a lot. And I kind of wish that wasn't the case. Uh-oh, we got a name monster. I gotta go kill him. We're doing really well in this stealth mission of mine. Rebellion. Uh, is that it? Yeah, okay. What? He says nothing. The Loyal's assassin has nothing to say. What? Wait, how do you get down there? What the fuck? How about... Oh, over here? Oh my god! Yeah, it says they're below me. What the hell? Yeah, there's there's like a another room down there. Okay, what the fuck is back here? <laughs> what what is all this? Rebellion. Uh, we could lift it. Yes. Oh, okay. I was like, what is this? A, a pressure plate? Here you go. Go down. No, I don't mean. There you go. Fall down. Thank you. That's what I meant. <laughs> I don't want to actually go down the safe way. What do you think this is? Rebellion. Yeah, see, they're they're even further down. I just want to fight the name monster for the credit. Woo! Oh, I'm right back right. Okay, maybe you can't go this way. Maybe I'm I'm chasing something that doesn't. Oh my god, this is an elevator. Grodbik. Let me guess, uh, he's the troll, isn't he? Absolutely. My favorite kind of enemy. Like, how could you not think they're comedic when they make noises like that? It's like World of Warcraft goblins. Like, on some level, you have to still remember, like, this is just a, a very lighthearted game. All things considered, even with some of the dark stuff in this game, it's still pretty lighthearted. The only thing that's, like, really dark is that dudes are just fucking dying earlier. Like, dudes are getting eaten and shit. 
Like, it's only happened twice, but, like, that that's the most that we've gotten out of this game in terms of, like, really fucked up stuff. Okay, and bonk. What? Oh, okay. Wait, oh, he's not the name monster? So who is? What? <laughs> and then dudes getting their heads cut off and shit. Wait, did I kill the name monster already? I feel like I definitely did not. Is it you? No. Okay, I have no idea who it is then. Wait, what? Why was that red? Oh, because he... Oh, okay. I, I, I see. I was kind of confused, too. I was like, what the fuck? Okay. Oh, it was super late. Yeah, they, they could really delay it. They really want to. Alright, I'm just gonna use ancient magic. That's what it's there for. We'll just use like two bars and just get, get them down to no health. I, I didn't even know who the name guy was. He just died at some point. <laughs> so all that for, for nothing, really. Well, not true, but you know what I mean. Oh wait, was that one of the um one of the pipes you have to turn on? Yeah, yeah, it is. Okay, I don't, I don't know. Maybe that'll show up like as something later. That's actually really well hidden. Way the fuck back here. Sure. Okay, now we can progress. I just want to make sure we got our, all our bases covered, right? Dude, can extra Wiganwell potions contribute to the ancient magic meter? Like how the light is still going to the wrong thing. <laughs> but it's, it's pulling me across just a visual thing. <laughs> it's cool because you can kind of see how it works, you know? It puts the little glow separately from the light coming from your wand. It's one of those, like, little neat things about a game. Dude, you're just feeding me extra counters. Thanks. Oh my god, it did all the wrong things. Very unfortunate. I don't have Defendo. Thank you. There you go. That's what you think. Oh shit, dude. The fuck? Damn, he just fell right over. Holy shit. That was, now that was a little grim. He just fell right the fuck over. Did he just kill his friend? Okay, there you go. Slam a leaping loyalist commander to the ground. Okay. 
Yeah, I'll sell him. I'm just smarter. Why am I doing the white girl voice for my character? Okay. Just a little bit of money. I mean, the money adds up, so I don't have a problem with getting money. Incendium should be able to light these flames. Okay. I hope I can get to Ranlock before Log God does. Yeah, Log Dog's in trouble. He, he's he's definitely gonna die. He's he's way over his head. Ramrock has no problem killing anybody that gets between him and his goals. Obviously, I don't know. People keep fucking around with him. I like how Amit was on one mission and dipped. <laughs> the wizarding world will crumble. I can end this right now. I have to destroy the drone. Ah, uh, usually he follows it up. He didn't. Yeah, I'm gonna get the Glacius upgrade. Oh, now he does a slam first. And now he does it again. What? You gonna do it a third time? Of course not. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I accidentally pressed R2 slightly. I didn't mean that. Boom. I got it doesn't hurt me right in my face. There you go. Yeah, it was all right. It was it wasn't that great at damage. That's it? Oh shit! I was about to say, dude, what? No way he's not continuing this. Anyway, bye. Perish. That was a close one. So where the hell did Ranrock go? I'll collapse all pillars to destroy the drill, okay? There you go, cave in. Except we were uh, not supposed to be there. So now we're buried alive. You. Finally. That is unfortunate. No matter, we will build another. I found this one looking outside. Uh-oh. Gok. Come to make amends, little brother. I came to stop this. What is this you've brought me? Give it here, come on. It cannot be. All this time. You knew. You knew where it was. I told you. Are we gonna help him? At all? Get the book back? Fight? Anything? Never understand you, Lord Gok. Akio, the book out of his hand? That witch did not consider you an equal. She, like all wizard kind, sought only to use you. You're wrong, Ranrock. The young ones are especially deceitful. They are taught to hide their disgust for us as they exploit us. Astonishing that our ancestors ever trusted each other. All this time, looking everywhere for the final repository. Searching in vain for Bragpaw's last journal. Wasted my time chasing a child. And my little brother. Oh, it's his brother. Along. That's why they're close. But now I don't need you. I don't need any of you. Yeah, uh, Rookwood. He's not your friend, buddy. To you. 
You're an idiot. <laughs> Told you. No! Oh shit! He just starts whipping out the curses, man! Okay, this, this cutscene's a little kinda whatever. Where we're not gonna fight him, we're not gonna try to take the book. Uh, okay, sure. So now he has everything he needs. I'm sure he's dead, don't worry. Poor Lord Cook. Dead by his brother's hand. No wonder he tried so hard to reason with him. Yeah, it makes sense now. That's why he did all of that, because they were brothers this whole time. Now to get out of this that, that was kind of like one of those not great cutscenes. That was a little cheesy. Poor Lodgok. I'll send word to Fig to meet me in the map chamber. He and the keepers need to know Ranrock has that journal and knows where the final repository is. All right, there you go. Complete main quests. I wonder, we're, we're going to get another season, right? Like, we're not just going to stop after three more missions. Like, that felt like one of those, like, leading up to the final mission missions. So, wait, did I buy the Spent Witches thing? Did I? No, I think I talked to him, but I didn't buy it. Let me just buy it. The final broom upgrade. It just looked weird. You're running. No, you're like, like not even like a good no. You know what I mean? Like, whenever a character dies in a game or a movie, like, I, I want to hear that Anakin shit. You know? <laughs> no! Something like that. There you go. 7,000. Anyway. I truly enjoyed working with you. Thank you for believing in me. I believe in the me that believes in you believing in me. Okay. It was like a no. <laughs> it was like a like a cartoon no. This game should do the Wilhelm scream. No. I hope Professor Fig got my owl. I need to tell him and the keepers that Ranrock knows where the last repository is. It's in Hogwarts. According to the owl I received, Ranrock is moving more quickly than we could have anticipated. This is great news indeed. We had hoped for more time to discuss the best path for. Bro, how much time do you need? What the student has to say. It's not like it's been like an hour. Professor, <laughs> you received my owl. Ranrock has the last of Bragbor's journals. He killed Lodgok to get it. He knows where the last repository is. Godric's heart. Lodgok. Lord Gok and Ranrock were brothers. Lord Gok was bringing the journal to me. Ranrock is a monster. We need to know where the final repository is. Surely this changes things. Ranrock has Bragbor's journals and knows where the final repository is. We obliviated Bragbor. He kept journals? Why would he have documented all of this? He didn't know what we were containing. Because he's not a fucking idiot, man. Oh, yeah, Isadora. Isadora told Bragbor about the magic when she asked him to build a container for her. I've seen her memories. Isadora left memories for someone to find? You know what she did? Her memories showed what she did for her father, which I also saw in Professor Rookwood's pensive. And a conversation with Bragbor in which she expressed frustration about the limits being placed on her use of ancient magic. Based upon the memories oh, oh, they have seen, I believe our young friend is well aware of the grave circumstances in which we find ourselves. The next trial will involve an trial. We don't have time for a trial. And a we new ability to We're interact dead. with beasts. Find a face of stone and tendrils. I already found it. I should advise you that you must engage with any beast that is part of the trial on your own. Professor Bakar will meet you in his pensive room. You're all stupid. We're dead. An exceptional level of magical skill? Nuanced ability to interact with beasts? Hmm. I suppose we should begin our search for a face of stone and tendrils. Whatever that may be. Very well. Professor Weasley has been keeping an eye on me. 
Perhaps we should meet there, so she has no reason to raise concerns with Professor Black. I shall see you near the coast. Perhaps then you can tell me a little more about the memories of Isadora that you witnessed. Okay. So that's it for that mission? Oh no, okay, it's a, it's a two-parter, that's why. <sighs> do I have enough time to do this? Not really, I have like 15 minutes. There's, there's no way I'll have enough time to do this, sadly. What? what? I, don't, I don't care about Minecraft. So, unfortunately... We already know where this face of stone and tendrils is because we, we've already been down there. Um, I guess at this point, the thing I would say is like, I like this game a lot, right? I think this game is definitely at least like a nine out of 10, but I wish it kind of took more from other games. You know, I wish it was a little bit more of a hardcore gaming experience, if that makes sense. Uh, is, is any of this map used? Could you imagine? But yeah, no, like I wish it had like more, more in depth plot lines, you know, things like that. Right, like there, there have been like what four or five plot lines, right? It's been like Sebastian, Natty, Poppy, Amit, Ravenclaw kind of gets nothing in this game, which is unfortunate, right? There was the Samantha mission, right? But it's not like an ongoing plot line or something. So there's certain parts of this that I do wish that it was like, you know, layered a little bit more on top of, right? Like, oh, well, you know, there's a bunch of different students, like 12 different students with like different plot lines and they intersect. And things like that you know not just like one-offs and stuff like that you know like i said i wish there was you know that that extra level of depth right like i don't know if i want it to be like the most hardcore of gaming experiences because i understand the audience they're going for but i think they could have dabbled a little bit further into like quests and things of that nature because this you know it might be it's not i would say it's a basic open world but you know what i mean like there's not really a ton of stuff to do in a lot of the areas right like i like this game but like Merlin trials are cool. Like I don't mind them. I think that's fine. I just haven't done a lot because I don't really increase my inventory that much because again, you don't really get like a ton of loot, right? Um, I just think that not necessarily that the game should be longer because this game is long as hell anyway. It's like a 40 hour game. I just wish maybe there were a couple more storylines and things like that, you know, a couple more like quest lines and, and such and such, right? Um, you know, just, just the house points, all that kind of stuff would be really good, so... All right, unfortunately, that's all the time I have for today, uh, which is kind of crazy. I had, like, no time at all. But it is what it is. I guess I'm going to go record. Oh, yeah, you know, yeah, because, yeah, I guess I'll just record tomorrow. It's fine. So probably another session or two. I don't really count the, this session and the last session as two different sessions, right? It, they, they weren't really two different sessions. They were kind of one session mixed, mashed together. So we, in another, like, maybe three major sessions, we'll probably be done with this. So that'll be pretty nice. So anyway.